Hi, my name is Carl San Luis, and this is In the News at CHS. Not only is it the last week of school, it is also the last week of Ms. Bonilla being the ASB advisor. We sent reporter Johnny Soda Padilla to interview Mrs. Bonilla and a few of her ASB students. Hi, I'm Johnny Soda Padilla with In the News at CHS, and I'm here with Ms. Bonilla, the ASB instructor. So, Ms. Bonilla, how long have you been doing ASB? I've been ASB uh, director for 28 years. Do you have any advice for the students in ASB right now? Um, just to embrace the, the new energy of a, a new director coming in and, and to be patient and flexible and help to create new traditions and events for CHS. And how do you feel about this being your last year in ASB? You know, it's a mixed blessing. I, I've been doing it a long time. Um, I've met incredible people and had amazing experiences. So, but it's, it's time. It's time for me to, um, I'll be on campus, so I'm not retiring quite yet, but it's, it's time to move on. And to end on a good note, what was one of your favorite memories from ASB from the past years you've been doing it? Um, I have incredible memories of people and staff and I think my favorite at times were when my kids were in ASB and I got to do all the events with them and so that that was really special that was really fun but I'll always treasure from multimedia we thank you for the many years you've given us hi I'm here with Gracia Bernal so Gracia how long have you been doing ASB I started ASB my sophomore year. I am currently, for the 21-22 school year, I am junior class president, and then next year I am senior class president. And as we know, this is Miss B's last year, so how do you feel about this? Any words you want to say to her for a last minute goodbye? I think Miss B was always like a super safe place to everyone, and I think not having her classroom and her, I think wisdom and stuff as well is like really like just sad, but it's like bittersweet too because you know it's for the best of her. But you know she will be really missed. I really want her for my senior year, but it's okay, um, and we'll just keep moving forward. All right, thank you, and that was Gracie Bernal. So Sophia, this is Miss B's last year. So how do you feel about this? Any words you want to say to her last minute? Um, I feel very sad, but um, I know it's for the best for her. Um, her classroom was always open for students at lunchtime. And I'm really going to miss that because it was kind of, a, like Grace said, it was like a safe place. And that's what she wanted it to be. That's why she'd always do it. And I'm definitely going to miss being in there, listen to her, watch her little shows, her little dramas. And uh, yeah, I just, I'm going to miss her so much. And she's an amazing person. She's always there for you. And yeah, I'm just going to miss her so much. All right, and that was Sofia Reyes. That was Johnny Soto Padilla, and I'm Carl San Luis with In the News at CHS. And from the In the News Productions, we personally thank you for all that you've done over the years, and we couldn't have asked for a better neighbor.